Hey guys, it's Grim and welcome back to the channel. Yeah guys, so episode 4 of our Ukrainian SSR series. Um, it's been a minute since last episode, I was on vacation, uh, so that's why there was uh, a little bit of a delay since last episode, uh, from 3 to 4 now. Uh, but yeah, a lot has happened since um, episode 3. I actually posted some videos on my channel, um, just some short uh, YouTube shorts on kind of what happened. Uh, between now and then because I did play a little bit on vacation uh, as much as I could obviously I'm on vacation So I'm trying to have a good time, but you know, I did play a little bit here and there um, The main takeaway that you guys should know and that you guys probably can already see here is that we did defeat Bulgaria um, They did attack me if you guys watch those YouTube shorts uh, you will see that they did attack me pretty hard uh, But they uh, we did defend pretty nicely. Uh, I had a bunch of National Guards in my city to defend that I used my artillery as well. I had a nice strong unit to attack uh, their strong unit as well that had like an infantry officer, a couple other strong units as well. Uh, but obviously, uh, our friends Spain and Austria over here, um, they aided uh, in our uh, kind of defense against Bulgaria. So we're looking pretty good now. And right now, uh, the the kind of thing that's going on right now with the game is currently we might go to war with Sweden, and also maybe potentially the United States. So if we go to uh, coalitions here, this is our coalition, of course. Um, but if you look at the other coalition that Bulgaria was in, the Balkans right here, uh, Sweden and United States are left. Uh, I think they're still active. Uh, I'm not 100% sure because you guys can't see it because I don't have the, uh, I can't capture it in the, the thing I'm capturing for the video. But this is blinking down here and this is to end the game. So that means that I think there's either three or four, around five. I don't really know the exact number. That means this is basically there's not a lot of people in the game. So if everyone agrees to end the game, uh, you could do that. But I don't think. Most people don't even end it, but uh, I think it's just at least us two, uh, at least us three in this coalition who are still playing. And then it's definitely uh, Sweden uh, or maybe United States. Maybe one of them is inactive, but maybe they'll start playing again. I guess we'll see. But uh, we probably will go to war with Sweden in the future because uh, oh, I mean, do that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we probably will go to war with them in the future anyways, whether they're active or not, because uh, we kind of need to capture more land here. Uh, I'm sure Spain and Austria are gonna go, are gonna go for Italy and Algeria, Morocco, and things down here, as well as the UK and Ireland. But I kind of want to start pushing more uh, to the north, so I want to capture the rest of the Soviet Union here, uh, which is now actually occupied by Sweden. Uh, this is all occupied by Sweden, so we basically have to get through Sweden. Uh, but right now, I'll take a more in-depth look at kind of what's going on. Um, they also actually uh, updated the game, and I kind of want to show that maybe. Um, for maybe a separate video, maybe I'll upload that. Uh, I'm just make a short, quick video on that uh, because it does look pretty cool. The new UI for a PC looks really nice. Uh, so I will show that uh, after this. Or I'll probably make it into a separate video. But anyways, uh, we got some stuff going on here. We're currently brewing up uh, some units in each of our uh, cities, of course. We got a helicopter gunship uh, coming out of there. Just got a unit chilling there. Uh, two units chilling there as well. We captured a bunch of cities in the Belarusian SSR as well as Poland. So we're trying to finish off those areas. Uh, I got a unit up here that's gonna uh, uh, kind of help uh, what's going on over here. Um, I have a National Guard about to beat this unit, uh, this infantry unit right here. Got a artillery bombing them, and then this artillery is gonna come back over here. So uh, these uh, this National Guard have an easier time. Uh, fighting uh, these infantries who are defending. It's actually three infantries over there, and then we have three National Guards. So once this artillery is done uh, helping this little battle over here, which will win pretty soon, actually, because, uh, oh, I need to do that, uh, which will do pretty soon, uh, which will win pretty soon because of uh, of this National Guard. is pretty much at full health, and then this one's at low health. So let me actually uh, make sure I waypoint him to go this way uh, so that he will aggro against uh, this infantry over here, and so he'll start uh, bombing this unit and to help out with uh, our National Guard over there to take over that city. Um, but I am trying to take over more cities that have uh, components as well as rare materials because we're a little we're a little behind since we got attacked by Bulgaria off the uh, off the start of the game. So we're a little behind on rare materials for research and stuff like that, uh, as well as just uh, you know uh, components and just natural resources like that. Um, if we take a look at uh, the conversation here. Oh, it looks things that they're talking to me. Do you want part of Poland? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna head to the north and attack Sweden soon after. Oh, 
after. All right, so we'll do that. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> Sweden actually texted me because uh, he said, I will not attack you. I said, and then I said, I want to believe you, but I just can't. Because over here, uh, we actually have our helicopter gunship patrolling him because this city is really close to obviously my main cities right here. And so I just have this patrolling right there. If he does uh, try to attack me, uh, this will automatically attack whatever unit he has chilling there, which seems to be a, a armored unit and infantry, so something potentially pretty strong there. Uh, so yeah, we just have that patrolling in case he attacks us earlier than we might expect. Uh, but yeah, we're just kind of finishing up these areas in the uh, Belarusian SSR, Poland, and the Baltic SSR, which we're starting to attack now. Uh, I mean, he might be still active, I'm not sure, because he does have like three infantry in one city. Um, so potentially... Uh, I also don't know how we see Sweden's units. Um, I'm not sure if that's like a bug or anything, but we literally could see Sweden's units, um, which is very, very weird. Uh, I feel like this has happened to me sometimes in other games. Uh, could be a bug, or maybe it's just something that has to do with the piece that we have together that I could see. I don't, I don't really know, but uh, we kind of can see what uh, units he has, uh, which is actually pretty helpful. Um, but he's got uh, some battle tanks in his main uh, cities right here. He's got a fighter here, you can see. Um, just some simple stuff. Uh, looks like he's got a unit moving over here to Oslo to maybe defend or something like that. Uh, we probably can't see all of his units because I doubt that's all of his units. Um, he does have a, uh, I think, a thing up here. Yeah, yeah, he's got a attack submarine. I saw that earlier today. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what's going on for uh, this point in this game mode right now. Um, pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, maybe we could research something. Oh, no, we can't because we don't have enough uh, rare materials. But I will show you guys uh, kind of what we're up to in researching. Uh, we have the uh, the best version of the modern infantry. just need to get this uh, later on. Uh, we do need to get the last version of the uh, armored fighting vehicle. Um, we do have the second version of the towed artillery. I'd like to get this final one, but that could wait right now. Uh, we're currently researching uh, the next upgrade for the helicopter gunship. And then we can get the uh, the last version of the helicopter gunship right here, which would be really nice. I've been using those a lot. Um, that really helped in the Bulgaria uh, defense and all that. And helicopter gunships are also just kind of really nice, especially if you're not playing against other players, because we'll just rip through infantry and stuff like that. And we're actually also researching um, something that is really, really good for this season that you could research for this season if you guys do have a security council is the elite uh, attack helicopter. Um, I've never actually researched it before, so I'm willing to give it a try, and so we'll see how that does paired with our uh, our helicopter gunships, which would be pretty interesting to see. So that's something to look forward to, is seeing the the flying lightning here in action. Uh, so I guess we'll see how that uh, how that fares against uh, the enemies that we'll go against. But, uh, but yeah, I think I covered everything for this episode. We're day 23 now, about to be day 24. Uh, but yeah, guys, if you guys like this type of content, I have plenty more Conflict of Nations content on my channel. So definitely like and subscribe if you guys want to see more stuff like this. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. And Grim, out.